So here we have our angle modulated system. We're going to continue our discussion for the high signal to noise ratio case. Our discriminator output can be expressed for the phase modulated case as KPD times the side of the angle. All right, so if this is going to be a voltage signal and this is in radians, then this must be volts per radians. Okay, we can see that the psi, which is the resultant signal consisting of signal plus noise of the angle, is consists of two parts, the signal plus the noise error. We can replace this theta of t with delta phi max multiplied by the normalized signal. And then the FM case, the only difference is that we take the derivative of the angle to give us uh, units of uh, hertz or radians per second. Since this is this expression here where we take d phi dt divided by 2 pi, that has units of hertz. Hence, this has units of volts per hertz, this KPD. So here we have d theta dt. When we take the derivative of this of this expression here, we have d phi dt, and then we get the noise term, and we'll describe that later. Uh, K f d multiplied by delta f max multiplied by the normalized signal plus our noise term for the f m case. So we can just look at the noise. So the noise for the phase modulated signal is K p d times the phi of t. Notice we derived this expression earlier a couple of slides ago, and we can replace that with the E n sine of phi of t, which is that component, divided by alpha a c. This gives us the result as this is the n s of t that's perpendicular to alpha a c. Okay, so that's the perpendicular component of the noise term. For the frequency modulated case, we take the derivative of our noise error divided by 2 pi to get it in hertz. So we can multiply this KFD as volts per hertz. And so this overall term is volts. So here, notice what we did is since alpha AC is a constant, we pull it out of the derivative, and that appears as a denominator as 2 pi alpha ac. And now we have the derivative of the noise. Note, when we take the derivative of a noise term, we really amplify it. And we'll see that in, uh, in a couple slides.